hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll share how to make mkwobi also known as spicy cow food to make this mkwobi you need cow food of course i have it cleaned already you need utazi it's in its ground and dried form there you need a huru also known as calabash nutmeg you need some salt palm oil uba or ubaka this is gotten from fermented oil bean seeds you need some seasoning cubes, onion, cameroon pepper, some ground crayfish, and the potash or akamu. I'll leave the list of the ingredients I'm using in the description box, so check it out. So to begin, I'll add your already washed meat to a pot, add some seasoning cubes, some salt, onion, and water. Now, I'm not going to be over seasoning this meat because I really wanted to keep this mkwabi traditional so i'm going to be using onion salt and seasoning cube only for this meat so i'm going to add a lot of water cover it and let it start cooking this take time to cook so if you have a pressure pot it's best to use a pressure pot otherwise just add enough water and keep checking to make sure it doesn't burn so next i'll go ahead and blend up the calabash nutmeg with my dry meal what we have here I'm going to set that aside as well <clears throat> next I'll break up the potash like so to bring it to its powdered form first but if you can lay your hands on the powdered one just use it straight up life is easy <laughs> some water mix and set aside so next I'll slice up some onion rings for decoration remember to keep an eye on the meat this was an hour later I went to check on the meat and it's almost there even though we want this to soften up you don't want it to melt in your mouth yeah you still want that texture to it so at this point i just leave it open a little bit so it can dry out easily so once the water is almost dry i take it off so this next step is something i like to do i like to cut the cow leg into bite sizes just like this and then take away the chunky bone i don't take away all the bones i just take out the big ones like that one and then cut the meat into bite sizes i also leave in some of these tiny bones because they help to make the mkwobi interesting as well you know we have something to keep our mouth busy yeah so i leave in those tiny ones and then i'm going to go ahead and cut everything into bite sizes just like this until everything is done See, at this point, food is almost ready, so it's time for that happy dance. Hmm? If I didn't marry where may go, hey! <laughs> so I'm going to mix the potash mix one last time and then sieve it into the palm oil. So with a wooden spoon, I'm going to stir, stir, stir until it cuddles. You're going to see it cuddle like this and then the color will turn to bright orange. I just love how beautiful this looks. So once it turns this way, you're good to go. Add the Cameroon pepper, the crayfish, the dried otazi leaf, seasoning cubes make sure you break that in very well so that someone will not go and bite into maggi that is her gd <laughs> and then add the ehu the blended calabash nutmeg and then mix everything thoroughly together and then finally we're going to add the 
garlic and mix. If you are team fit farm, you may want to pass on this dish because it requires a lot of oil as you can see to prepare this traditional meal. But one thing you can do is to reduce the amount of oil you can that you will be using for this meal but then you will not have that bright orangey look of mkwabi. Yeah. So mix, mix, mix until everything is properly combined. So once everything is properly combined, I transfer it to a stove top and then just heat it up for one minute and our unkwabi is ready. Yeah, serve and enjoy with chilled palm wine, chilled malt or coke, whichever one suits you and <laughs> you're good to go. If I did marry where me go. Hey, somebody sing, give me the key. Somebody give me the key in the comment section. So lastly, I garnish with some more utazi leaf. Yes, it's the name we call it. It's going to answer. Yeah, I was supposed to garnish with utazi leaf, but since I don't have fresh one, I faked it with some spinach because I wanted that bright greenish color to pop. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, and I'll see you in my next video.